56. Pressure cookers allow food to cook faster because the higher pressure inside the pressure cooker increases the boiling temperature of water. A particular pressure cooker has a safety valve that is set to vent steam if the pressure cooker exceeds 3.4 atm. What is the approximate maximum temperature that can be reached inside this pressure cooker? And then explain your reasoning. All right. So, uh, first things first is I have a phase diagram here of water uh, just to show you where water would be its phases. So just know that the, the deep purple here is every time that water or H2O is going to be in the solid form, aka ice. This like lavenderish cover color is when water is going to be in its liquid phase. And then the brown on the bottom is where uh, H2O will be in the vapor phase, aka a gas. Now in this question, they did state that a particular pressure cooker has a safety valve that's, that's set to vent steam. Now what is steam? Well, it's water in what form? Ah, it's water in the gas form. Now, basically, what pressure cookers do is it's basically it fast cooks everything because it's increasing that boiling temperature of water in which liquid water will turn into steam. However, if the pressure cooker senses that there's steam being made at the boiling temperature and, you know, the water is the liquid water is starting to turn into steam, um, that will be a safety valve and it will start venting off the steam. And that happens at 3.4 atm. Now, on this um, phase diagram, I do have a y-axis that's in pressure. However, in order to use this diagram, I have to have my pressure in kilopascals. They gave us 3.4 atm. So before we even get to the, uh, the diagram here, I first have to know what 3.4 atm is in kilopascals. Now, this is just using dimensional analysis, right? We could, we could go about it the, the longer way. 3.4 atm, if we are using dimensional analysis, remember, times by a ratio. Put the unit that you don't want on the bottom. So atm goes on the bottom. Kilopascals go up on top. And remember, for atm and kilopascal, I just wrote the conversion down here. One atmosphere, or one atm, equals 101.325 k kilopascals. So the 101.325 goes up top, and the 1 atm goes on the bottom. Atm cancel out, and now you're just left with the units of kilopascals. So, in this case, all we have to do is just take 3.4 and times it by the 101.325. So that's what I'll do. 3.4 times 101.325, and numbers look good. Okay. So... My kilopascals is now 344.5, roughly, kilopascals. If we wanted sig figs, since this had two sig figs, I guess let's, let's do, you know, the sig fig game, right? So we would have 3, 4, and then we would have a 0, basically. So 340 kilopascals. All right. Now this is where we are going to be looking for on our phase diagram. Now, this phase diagram is not built to scale. As we can see here, the difference between these first round of numbers, 0.6 to 101, is way different from the scale for 101 to 22,000. So we just have to basically estimate, and that's, that's what they said. They just said approximately. So we just have to be in the right ballpark. Now, we're definitely above 101, so... We have to be relatively low on the scale because all the way up here is 22,000. So I would say that we are not even close. We're probably like, you know, I mean, over here maybe 300 because you have, you basically have like 22,000 from 101 all the way. So, I mean, to, to push the needle up, I would say we're pretty low here. So let's just say that this is roughly... That's a good line. Three, what was it? 340. 340. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend this line all the way. 
because now here comes the fun part. Here comes where the answer is. Now we need to know what is the maximum temperature that can be reached inside the pressure cooker. Now the safety valve is basically when you know, you're going to vent steam, but that's the highest temperature. You want the highest temperature so that that safety valve doesn't get reached. So in this case, if we're producing steam, and that's a gas, we're on this side somewhere. Now, if we're going from liquid to gas, because that's what it says, we're doing something with the boiling temperature, that conversion is vaporization. From a liquid to a gas is uh, vaporization. So now we just have to basically find this temperature. Because at this boiling point, once you produce the gas, that safety valve is going to go off to vent that steam off of the pressure cooker. So we need to find this temp at vaporization. So I'm looking for the temperature in which the liquid water goes into the vapor water. Remember that the liquid water is the lavenderish color and the vapor is the gas. And we're only allowed to go along this path. So along this path, I need to make sure that I'm crossing over a liquid to a gas. So for example, this is the break between solid and liquid. See how the two colors are like crossing over? But that's not liquid to gas, so I'm just going to keep going. And I'm going to keep going across this line. And here is the next cross. Because that's when the water will turn into the gas. And this exact point is that boiling point. That's going to be the max temperature. So let's just try to gauge this as best as we can. We're going to go down and see what that temperature is. Okay, so once again, we are somewhere between 100 and 374. So um, let's just see what the middle number here is. If we were, you know, looking at the middle number between these two. So uh, 374 minus 100 is 274. 274 divided by 2, just to cut it in half, you have 137 on each side. So the middle number would be 237, because 100 plus 137 is 237. So we're in between 100 and 237. Eh, seems like maybe, I don't know, 140? 150? Let's just say 150. That's a good number, roughly around. Because even if we went maybe a little bit higher you would be somewhere in this area if we move the 340 a little bit up. So I would say roughly around the maximum temperature. So I'll say the maximum temperature would roughly be around 150 degrees Celsius. And it's at that stage that vaporization will happen, the boiling point, um, all the liquid would turn into the gas, and that's when that safety vent will come on to vent the steam off inside the pressure cooker. And I think we're good. So the explain your reasoning is basically talking about we just want to find the boiling point. We want to find the, the temperature in which it vaporizes. Liquid to gas, here are the two different color separations right at this mark, and there you go. So I hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. If you wouldn't mind, please hit the subscribe button. Just helps us out. Get the word out there that this YouTube channel exists. I really hope you all are having a great day out there. Keep studying hard. I'm proud of you guys. You've been studying so hard, you know, crushing all those exams and quizzes. And I will be talking to you later. All right. Bye-bye.